Beth's idea was to do the money symbols. So they're very large color print. So I mean, when you're asking for cash back, you can actually say like, oh, yep, I want tens and fives. And it just makes it easier rather than you're trying to communicate what your need is, but you really want tens and fives instead of just a $20 bill. How can you ask for that? So, yeah, I mean, you're taught all these things in the classroom and then you want to go out and make them functional for everyone that you're working with. And this is something that we could be doing once we do get our certification and are practicing kind of after we graduate. So it's nice to be able to apply what we're learning and be able to help people as well in the community and just continue to raise awareness for all of it. And I think the individuals that run the Friends of Aphasia group, Dana Hogan and Michelle Chisholm, they're, they're super great about making it not only just a place for those individuals to feel connected and to feel like they're heard, but also it's kind of like a brainstorming session. They're constantly saying, you know, here's a problem that you're having. What can we do to try and assist you or find ways to assist other individuals? And I think almost everyone leaves the meeting feeling like they've accomplished something or at least gotten some sort of, I don't know how to put it, some sort of assistance or they feel like they're helping someone else. So it's, it's really a powerful experience the way that they run the meeting. It's not just a su regular support group. It's very meaningful. They really want to try and get as much done as they can. It's about advocacy. Yeah. Yes, it's absolutely. Advocacy. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> we are starting our externships in the fall, so we do one in the school and one in a medical setting. So we kind of get really immersed in kind of those different settings, and they're polar opposites, of course. So kind of getting into that and seeing which one we do like more. Um, I know personally I am leaning more towards medical and working with patients with aphasia. Um, it's just been very interesting kind of throughout Mrs. Gilroy's class and learning more about that. And even doing this as well um, has sparked some interest. So. But once those externships get started, hopefully it'll even, you know, brighten that spark a little more. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely agree with Beth on that. I'm pretty much undecided. I thought at first I wanted to do a school, and now after taking all these courses and even doing this book and seeing all of the different organizations for individuals with aphasia or traumatic brain injuries, I'm starting to think I might be interested in a hospital. And my first externship will be at Guthrie Cortland Regional Medical Center. So I'm really excited to kind of broaden my horizons a little bit with that and see which one I want to do.